Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio in the gallery. And I just finished giving a lesson and this is the paint I was graced with. It's some color shifting turquoise from folk art, some green gold color shifting from folk art, some minty green which is probably called emerald green color shifting from folk art, some purple flash from folk art, and some pink I don't know where it came from and I hope I can find some more because I want it, want to make some more. This is, um, this has got Iridescent Pearl Fine from Golden, metallic, uh, Iridescent Pearl Fine put into purple, which is lightened up probably with a little bit of white metallic from Anita's. This is my Hobby Lobby brand, Master's Touch, Dioxazine Purple. And so, I am going to not, or without further ado, I am going to layer some colors in here. I didn't use this in my last one. I did a, a nice pour that I really, really liked, but it wasn't recorded, so I'm going to find some white and put a little bit of that in there. There's the emerald green. That's the color flash turquoise. The green gold. I'm going to use, yes I am, some purple flash again. Kind of want some blue, but I've got those other colors in the bottom and they are kind of mixed up, so we don't know what we're going to get. And I may even have to do another painting, but I'm going to use a 16 by 20 inch canvas in a second. And those look like a nice balanced quantity of colors to me. And it's always hard for me not to want to have my folk art purple flash be the first one out. So I'm going to do that. Now usually I would put down, I would coat my canvas in paint. I'm sorry about my head. And I am going to give myself some paint in a layer just as a start. It's a big cue. And then I'm going to go leave some of that in the bottom. And you treat it like a ring pour. Just move it around. And I've got my colors if I want to use them again. Part of me wants to do one of these next to another one. But I love the colors. And I love the stripes. And I think if I flow them first one direction and then the other, that I get to keep some of both of those things. I hope so. I feel I will probably put some more colors in a cup. Let's flow that down. Let's grab an edge catcher. My phone is ringing. Sorry about that. So use paint flows to paint, so if I add that black in there, I've got a really good chance of maybe even making it to the corner. I'm going to take whatever paint flows down that way. And an OXO omelette turning spatula. Grab a little bit of it. Grab a little bit more of it. And the rest. I'm going to bring that turntable right around. I think I'm going to take this off there also. So. Now, I have to decide if I'm going to put some more paint in this cup, and I am, because I'm very low. 
and what I want. I really like that turquoise and the green gold and the emerald green together, but not more than I like the purple flash. And come on out. Yes, good. Let's grab a little bit of that white. I think I want to grab a little bit, if I can find it, of that neon purple that dries darker, which is a multi-surface. And these colors will last till tomorrow no matter what. And I'm thinking I want to put either some blue or some turquoise in there. Maybe a little bit of both. Yeah, I like that. So, now, if I don't leave too many things in my way, I'm going to try and do... Put that down there. What did I do with that? Here's my edge catcher. Let's go the wrong way first. Move that down. Let everything fall right off. And then go back in the other direction. Oh, I can cover my little spots on the end with some stuff. Got a good place to hang on to my canvas. I'm just going to run that paint right over to the edge. Hopefully you can see some of that. My paint is moving the way I would like it to. That's very nice. I have lots of wonderful paint and I need to get my bottles out of my way so I can put my painting down and my edge catcher flat so I can then retrieve that paint. Put my cup away. There we go. Oh, right into... <laughs> I guess I found some. Not where I was expecting it, but I found it. Okay, so I'm going to take this paint off of this edge catcher. Maybe just a little more. Move it the wrong way and then the right way, if there's such a thing as the right way at this point. I should have torched to see if I could get some cells out of there. I'm going to have to rinse my fingers for a second. And I think maybe before, oh, too much water on my hands. Maybe before I go any further, it would be okay to give it one quick torch. See if we can cause a catalytic reaction anywhere. And if we can't, that's okay. So what I want is my cup of paint and I've got it. And I want some more green in there, like very badly. And there it is, right there. I might indulge in some of that turquoise again, too. I think so. And then there's always the purple flash factor. And why not finish up? <laughs> same old, same old. Yes, I'm quiet because I'm focused. I'm going to have to decide which way to go. And I think I don't want to go. What a mess I'm making. 
Oops, almost, almost squished the painting. So whatever I get on this edge catcher this time, I'm going to keep again and put back in the painting. Although I could go that way. Yes, I could do that. And that might be really cool. <laughs> I could even do it twice, which I might be sorry about because I maybe wanted that. So let's go back again. Let's tip it. So everything has a little bit of an angle. Change up the composition a little. Add a little curve. I don't have much left except for this over here. And I have the paint for that. So I should tell you guys, there's over 90,000 of you subscribed. If you're not subscribed, I'd love to have you. Please subscribe. And uh, I have over 1,500 videos. Should you happen to be interested in looking at anything from a while back, they were pretty interesting back then and, and maybe even a little simpler. So I was simpler then. My methods were simpler then. And a little more paint. And I'm going to be done in a second. So I should tell you, if you shop my Amazon link at no it cost you, it helps me out and I appreciate it. And it's under the link tree with the Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter links. Under the video, you'll find my paint pouring recipe and Teespring clothing, all over print leggings and all over print t-shirts there. I don't need to put any tools in this because this is just cool right like it is. And if I want to do anything to it at all, I would have to say that that would probably be a tip away. But I'm not sure it needs anything because I am pretty happy. So I torched to release the bubbles caught in the paint. I might have mentioned that. Maybe. This right here. I just want to make a slight change right there. I do use GAC 800 by Golden in all of my paint mixtures, which means that if the paint is heavy, and some of this paint is heavy, that the chances are that it won't crack when it dries. Please give me a thumbs up if you wouldn't mind. I would really appreciate that. Your comments keep my morale boosted all the time, and I really appreciate them. If you have an opportunity and you'd like to support the production of videos, my studio, PayPal and Patreon icons are on the YouTube channel banner header. Yeah, <laughs> redundant. And uh, lower right hand corner. And also you can find that on the link tree. And in the exhibition video, in the last 20 seconds of every video, you will find whatever the next month's prizes are for those who do contribute to the studio. You can see that there's usually more than one painting to pick from. Well, there's usually between six and nine paintings to pick from. And then there's... Um, and then there's a, either one or two that you get to have as a result of your contribution. I really appreciate you guys being here. Thank you so much. I have a community board with tomorrow's video posted on it. I have a shop. Both of those are on my YouTube channel or right below the banner. If you have questions, feel free to ask me. If, uh, if a what? <laughs> if I could remember everything I was supposed to tell you, I'd tell you that there were Facebook groups on the uh, Linktree link. Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group is for students. Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Fans and Collectors is for people looking to see which, um, which artworks I have edited from YouTube videos. If you have an interest in making a purchase at any point in time, my email address is directly below the link tree. And uh, I just gave a class, and I do give classes, so that's the best way to contact me there, too, also. I don't know if a close-up is imperative or not, but um, this is bugging me over here. I want some purple right there. Don't ask me why. Just a little waggle. And no one will know if you don't tell them. All right. I love you guys. I'm going to zoom in on my pretty cells. Hopefully some of them are in focus. I love you guys. I hope to see you soon. Oh, no, that's not. That's not painting. I hope this never comes off in my hand while I'm doing this. Anyway, so you know I love you, but I'll tell you again, I love you guys. Thanks for being here. Thanks for cheering me up. And I will see you anon. Goodbye for now. Priscilla out. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. See ya. Bye.